His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a message from the Commander in Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, in reply to the message sent by His Majesty the King, in which he thanked him for his humanitarian and tolerant stance, which led to reducing the death penalty in Terror Case 1 of 2017. The Commander-in-Chief extended sincere thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad for his enlightened visions and constant keenness on ensuring the interests of the homeland, wishing him abundant health and happiness. He said the humanitarian and authentic stances and attitudes are the result of His Majesty King Hamad's wisdom, sound visions and noble stances. The Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force wished His Majesty the King continued health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa has directed to swiftly take measures to rebuild Al Mahza Mosque in Manoma in a way that preserves its historic status and religious role. His Royal Highness also praised the role of Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa, for the contribution of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs in this regard. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the government's keenness to continue the development reconstruction of mosques and places of worship in various regions of Bahrain and to provide all facilities to enable it to play its religious role and mission in spreading Islamic values that promote coexistence. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister issued this order to the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments in cooperation with the relevant authorities to rebuild al Mahza Mosque. For his part, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, said that immediately after the issuance of the order by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the reconstruction of the mosque, the ministry began preparing a work plan in coordination with the relevant ministries and bodies to develop the mosque in a manner consistent with its historical status and the nature of the historical and heritage area. He expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his constant interest in the role of worship places and his keenness to be in a constructive position in line with its religious status and importance to Muslims. The representative of His Majesty the King for its Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad al-Khalifa, participated at the Ironman North American Championship in Texas held today. The race began at 2.30 p.m. Bahrain local time with swimming and then cycling and then ended with a running tour. At the end of the last training session, His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the members of the team and urged them to finish the race in a distinctive way and achieve a new title for the Bahrain team. Along with His Highness Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Bahraini team consists of the President of the Bahrain Cycling Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, President of the Bahrain Triathlon Federation, Sheikh Sagar bin Salman Al Khalifa, Mohammed Al Qais, Ali Janahi, Mikhail Kalahora, David Taylor, Kevin Orland, and David Pass, who will participate in the professionals' competition. His Highness Sheikh Nasr expressed his satisfaction with the preparations made by the team, wishing them good luck and success.
Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that the, the declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain was the cornerstone for the launch of the center. The announcement was made at the inauguration ceremony of the Kingdom of Bahrain platform in the presence of the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, and His Majesty's Advisor for Media Affairs, Nabil Al Hamar. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa said that His Majesty King Hamad is a witness to the past and present of Bahrain, reflecting the true spirit of peaceful coexistence that successive generations have been passing through since the foundation states at the hands of Al Khalifa family. Dr. Khalid pointed out that just two days ago, His Majesty the King registered a bright page in the history of tolerance, forgiveness, wisdom and humanity, noting that such a step in amnesty is a guiding light for coexistence in Bahrain society. He noted that the history of tolerance and coexistence in Bahrain was not confined to the religious and doctrinal aspects, but also recognized its acceptance of openness and intellectual ideologies and ethnic and cultural differences. He also said that it advocated the establishment of equal rights for women, contradicting all the principles of humanity and the freedoms that they were calling for. He said that socialism, communism and their supporters in the 1950s and 60s were one of the most difficult ideologies to adapt and coexist in Western societies until it came to the enactment of strict laws that criminalize belief and vice versa for Bahrain. Ms. Betsy Matheson, Vice President of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad International Center for Peaceful Coexistence, said the launch came after acts of hard work. In her speech, she said His Majesty personally oversaw the development of the texts and principles of the Kingdom of Bahrain's declaration, which reflect an excellent mentality of compassion and wisdom, expressing deep gratitude for the establishment of this platform. The ceremony, which was attended by a number of officials and members of the diplomatic corps and the media, included a presentation of the document and its contents. The declaration of the Kingdom of Bahrain was launched in mid-September 2017 in Los Angeles. The event was organized under the patronage of His Majesty the King, who deputized Sheikh Nasr bin Hamad al Khalifa to attend the ceremony and launch the document, in addition to announcing the establishment of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence. On the sidelines of the 19th session of Arab Radio and Television Festival in Tunisia, Information Affairs Minister Ali bin Mohammed al Rumehi participated in the inauguration of the radio and television market, which was held in the presence of the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Anwar Marouf. The Minister of Information Affairs toured the market and the media pavilions, which reflected its progress at the level of Arab world. He was also briefed about the nature of the market activity, the services it provided, and the joint production institutions that represent the various Arab countries. On this occasion, His Excellency the Minister expressed his admiration for the great participation of television channels, radio stations and other production institutions in this market. He underlined the progress of Arab production institutions and the quality of their services, which contribute to the advancement of Arab media work. The Minister stressed the keynotes of the Ministry of Information Affairs to participate effectively in such media events, which aims to strengthen the Arab partnership, exchange of experiences in addition to keeping pace with the latest developments in the field of media.